Hello everyone. Hey, everyone. Well, welcome back to Dog and Partridge, a place of own fine craft ales. If you haven't met them before, you won't find them anywhere else. This is world famous brother, Alan Partridge. It's me, fed up, and he's nearly over, and he's done with this malarkey, brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Too wrong, fed up with this malarkey. <laughs> yeah, you Soon won't done. find no Indian variant, Kathmandu variant, or out of Mongolia variant in here, chap. Well, it's just about beer. Beer variant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> What have you got for me tonight, bro? Uh, we've got a fair across a wide range of beers that come from uh, oh, own brewing companies across the Mighty o. Across the spectrum, really. Um, uh, yes. So we've got uh, Jay Paul from Brewworks. Oh, lovely. Uh, we've got uh, one from the range. <laughs> oh, that's where you buy your sofas and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah everything. Well, Sells everything. Okay. Basically, you can okay. buy anything. It's a bit like your, your Wilco's, the new Wilco's, isn't it, sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, well, fair enough. And then we've got one from uh, Master Brew or Master Pint Brew. I, I think remember. that's Master Pint. We're going to do that one first. Yeah, we'll do that oh, one we'll first. dive in with that then. Looks like it's a, well, it's a sticky pouch. <laughs> uh, Master Pint. Yes. Genuine craft micro brewery beer yes. making kit. <laughs> it's uh, made by Hamilton Barb, actually. We have had an Hamilton Barb before a dry kit. Okay. Oh, yes, an Hamilton Barb. Yeah. Um, it comes in one of these uh, pouch things then, like that, if you can see that on the old, uh, on the old uh, thing there. Yeast is stuck to the bottom and it's, uh, then you dissolve your liquid malt extract. Okay, okay. Again, you'd sit that in some warm water to start off with. Right. You'd then pour it out and then you'd take the top top off, pour some boiling water in and give it a good shake and, okay. wait and get the rest out. Which right is then. a bit of a pain in the backside to do, fair? Oh, I can imagine it probably is. It still feels like a swim in there. It could easily be. <laughs> Try and dissolve it. <laughs> Right, child yeah. in a boy not bag and shake in it. No. 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 I'll just drink what you make from it. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, you do need an announcer of some sort, so uh, I'll probably just put uh, another bit of liquid malt extract to go with that. And here it is. Inky dokey. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's um, brown. Well, it's, it's in between brown and golden, actually, depending on what light you're under, isn't it? You know. It just calls itself real ale, which is. Really non I was going to say, that's a, that, that encompasses quite a bit then, doesn't it? So what we've got it's going on here? everything in the box, isn't it? Oh, it's, um, it's not bad. Um, Price-wise, I think we said it was about 12 quid. Yes, yeah, price-wise about 12 quid, you know, an answer for about five or six. So probably the lower end of the scale, really. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of beginner sort of stuff. But yeah. um, uh, what do you think to the nose, bro? I'm not getting a lot. Get a bit of fruitiness and a little bit of malt together. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, mm. I'm winning. Cheers. Cheers. It's probably what you expect from that sort of price range. Yeah. Here. Mm. Yeah. I think I'll drink some of this at the weekend. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like John Smith Smooth. Oh, I wouldn't do it that much disservice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not getting away. It's that kind of area of brown nondescript beer really. <laughs> well, I, I can see now why it says real ale on the packet because mm -hmm. you can't really say much more about that can yeah. you it's, it's, there's a good maltiness there there's a bit of dryness mm. um perfectly drinkable but really mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're at about seven eight yes yeah, seven yes yeah. seven it's a good effort but it, it's all right so I'll have a cheap kit. Yeah. Yeah. Just a cheap kit, stick together. Yeah. Well, I can drink it. I can drink it, there's nothing wrong with it, bro. Mm. Right, well that's that one. That's that one. So now we're ten. We went for that one, didn't we? Where are we going next, bro? Oh. We're off to the range, Jack. We're off to the range. So now is this is this my O or is it? Make just... your own. Ah, make your own, I see. Make your own beer. Yes. American IPA. Create up to 40 points. Yeah. Uh, 14.99 from the range. That's, that's not bad. Not a bad price. Again, you will need an answer sugar, whatever you want to put in there. It says sugar on the box, to what, be fair. What, what comes in the box then, bro? Is well, it quite a bit, actually. You get um, your detailed instructions, you get a bag of malt extract, you get. Um, you get bruised yeast and hops. You get bruised yeast and hops. Well, that's right. So you do get some dry hops again with this, so this is pretty pretty cheap for having dry hops in actually, really. Cool. Now I would much rather prefer everybody to go down to their own brew shop or order from their own brewery shop online. Uh, but of course everybody keeps 
putting posting these on the own brewing community. Yeah. So I thought, you know, we're gonna have to give it a go. So uh, and if you're out of shopping and your and your, your missus happens to be in, in the range, you can yeah. always buy one of these while you're there. Yeah, and obviously Father's Day coming up soon, you might find things. that the kids yeah. have bought you one of these as well. Yeah. Nice simple sort of kit though, bro. Yeah. Um cool. Now there is a rumour. Oh it's distributed by Bevy Partners. I was just reading it in a little it's more, manufactured in the UK by Bevy Partners Limited. Yeah, and they're the same people that distribute the mangrove jacks kit. As there might be a bit of a tie in there somewhere. Yeah, might be a bit of a tie in there. Okay, okay. Right then, let's see what it tastes like. There you go, bro. Oh, a little bit on the cloudy side, bro. Yeah. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. You've got some head retainer in that, by any chance? No, it's just through the corny and it's obviously through the Guinness book. Okay. I Sorry, did yeah. put a bit of pure brew in it, uh, as you know, just a bit of an answer to start off with, but yeah. Got quite a nice nose to it. It does actually, hasn't it? You can smell those hops, oh, can't yeah, you? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's coming through quite nicely, that. What do you describe that at, bro? I've got quite citrusy a, again. Citrusy and citrusy fruity, and fruity, isn't fruity, it? Yeah. Old as well. Well it wants to be, it's American pale ale, isn't it? Yeah, American pale ale. I'm, I'm going in. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Tell you what, there's no wrong with a whole ad. That's not bad, that. So what did you say, that was fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, and obviously I've put a, a malt extract with it. Yes, but for, for your base kit, that is what we're saying, like three or four quid more than that one we just had, mm -hmm. and it's far, far superior. That's far, far better. Yeah. There's yeah. a good dryness there, a good rounded balance fruitiness, mm -hmm. citrus taste oh. in the background. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, quite quite impressed oh, with that. Yes. But then again, if it is mangrove jacks, we've got something to do with them. There's no wonder, is there really? Yeah. Then, really, yeah. um, that's that's cracking day, bro. Mm. You know what? For the price, I'm going to go for a ten out of ten. That. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a ten out of ten. You do get some maltness, you'd expect with own You don't get the own brew twang. Mm. Um, <laughs> but you also get a little bit of dryness on the back mm. of the palate. Mm. Just yeah. what an American IPA should be like. Mm. But for, for the price, the price. Can't remember, can't remember. Well, I'm not going to go quite 10 10, I thought I'd go 9. Well, he's bro, he's allowed to do that. <laughs> We're speeding through him tonight, folks. Well, what's your new one, promise again? No, I'm just <laughs> saying he's speeding through him, he's on a promise. Oh, there you go. Right. Pierre. <laughs> Pierre, I don't know if I'm going to serve you now. You may bar be from the bar. <laughs> well, you can stop me now and chat if you like, bro, you know. <laughs> well, all about things varying, varying value. Ooh. I've not got any more packaging for the next bit. No, because this is um, from, this is an all brand kit from Love Brewing, their beer works range, and they do a jab, jab, a pour, clue, a clue. Okay, okay. Right, um, if you don't know, obviously Jay Paul's from Thornbridge Brewery, in that there, the uh, Peak District, uh, one of my favourite beers. Yes. Yes, now I've done this a few years ago, uh, before the days of uh, having an all one system. So I thought I'd do it in the other one system, see if uh It has to be said, man. That is crystal clear. Yeah. Well, look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now there's seven lots of ops in this. I think you read from the, even from the seven? You read from the pump clip there. Right, we go. Got in. So we've got Chinook, Sentinel. Oh you get <laughs> An Antoninum, <laughs> uh, Simcoe, Columbus and Cascade. There's one in there that's a bit hard to pronounce. Yeah. But yeah. You do get a big bag of dry up, well, no, a big bag of ops to have at the end of the boil, which is the uh, okay with this, so yeah. Why do you? Uh, price wise, price wise, about 25 quid. Oh, okay, right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's it smell like, bro? Oh, it smells good. That smells good, doesn't it? Ooh, it, sm ooh, it smells ooh, like ooh. it smells like Jake Paul. It smells like it, doesn't it? What's on these folks? Again, I'll put a bit of pure brewing at the start. I can't wait, I'm going in. Go on. <laughs> My life, angels on me top. I think that's a little bit more like Jay Paul's time. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and the dryness at the end of it, there. You feel the Simco coming through at the background. Oh. That's, a, that's a thing of beauty, bro. Oh, that's just not them two out of water, ain't it? Yes, quite frankly, that's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10, <laughs> definitely, 100%. Um, a, it tastes like it's supposed to, and B, it's just got, I mean, it's a wonderful beer. It's got everything going on in that. Could be a bit strong. 
It is, uh, well, the pump clip says 5.9. What do you reckon you'd read it to? Uh, well, there was a big bag of grain, which is a pain in the arse, because you, <laughs> you didn't tell you exactly how much water you wanted. So, uh, you know, you've got to, like, kind of, like, okay, stir it in water and then add more water. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So it's at least 5.9. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of grain in there, anyway, put it like that. That is, that's, that's, it's, I'm speechless. It's a thing Fab, of beauty. Fab, fabulous. To definitely don't. Uh, even so much so, it is certainly in the top ten of top tens. Oh, I reckon that is. Yeah, that's in there. It's a cracking beer. Yeah. Cracking beer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you know what you want to do? Get a little brewing. The brewing. Jay Paul ordered. Oh, brewing. In fact, Jay Paul and the American Pale Ale uh, were the only two own brew all grain kits they actually had in stock. Okay. So At the time you, of me ordering, you so fellas are still ordering it out there, aren't you? Oh, still going crazy. It's going crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Well. Ah, that's it from the beers then, bro. Yeah. So, shall I tell the folks at home what's coming next? The next instalment from the Dog and Partridge, we have... We have a Malt Miller Doom Bar. <laughs> <laughs> of all the beers you can make... Why would you make it? It's in every it's pub the there most, is. It's <laughs> the most popular beer in England. Doesn't mean to say it's the best. No, and it does get a lot of stick. Uh, and back in the day, when Doom Bar first was launched, it was a cracking beer. And when it was originally built, uh, brewed by, I believe, Sharps, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Down in Cornwall. Yeah, it was. But then it was mass manufactured somewhere else. To the hilt. <laughs> and now the country's awash with it. But yes, I it thought is. I'd try the recipe from Malt Miller and see if it does actually turn out like and, and deserve all the sticky gifts. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's that. That's Malt Miller Doom Bar. We've got Beer Works. American IPA. Yeah, like I said, this is uh, the uh, kit I ordered at the same time as this one. And then we have the mystery one that we can't say. Dun, dun, dun. Not allowed to say. Not allowed to say, so keep watching next time. If you do not want to miss that, please <laughs> yes. subscribe to our channel. There will be some exciting somewhere. news next time, so stay tuned, people. Yeah, thanks for everybody that comments, as always. Great, we always read them and go through them. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I do try to get back to people, but it's not always possible when you're as busy as what I am. Oh, yes. One more thing, also next no, next time, I believe those lovely people at Dark Rock. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> have yes. sent us some bowls of the low alcohol beer. Yeah, have indeed, yes. <laughs> it arrived the other day. We would have probably been trying it tonight, but it got chucked around the country side by DPD. When I say chucked around, I mean chucked around. The parcel looks like it's been played by a rugby team with, doesn't it? And it even says fragile on the top, but it doesn't seem to matter. I think what I, it, a fragile must mean to some drivers is, please stand on me. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. But the beer did survive and it has made it. It so has made it. It's a good job to wrap it well, isn't it? It is. Thank you very much. We'll be trying that next time as well. We'll be trying that next time. Lovely. So thank you very much for Dark for sending those uh, local yes. ones beers. Yes. I think that's about it for tonight, isn't it, bro? That's about it from this time, so it's a goodbye from him. And it's a goodbye from him. Oh, who's that? Who's that? To the Queen! To the Queen! Hey, hey, cheers! cheers.